The Marlin Independent School District has suspended its superintendent and will be investigating him. This as the school district faces being shut down itself. Yeah, that's what we learned. But what is the superintendent being investigated for? And will this move keep their doors open? Channel 6's Andrew Moore asks the board that question today. Hi, Andrew. Guys, board member Eddie Ellis Jr. says he hopes this move shows the TEA that Marlin is moving in the right direction. But when I ask what problems they are working to address by removing the superintendent, they were less specific. I move that we suspend Michael Sebo of any and all Marlin Independent School District duties. By a 5-4 vote, the Marlin ISD board has removed their superintendent, and the board said that he would be investigated. Place him on administrative leave to investigate his performance of duties, alleged misconduct. But the board could never specify what they meant by alleged misconduct. During the meeting, one board member said this. I could make the case that three of us don't have enough knowledge to be voting on any of these agenda items. And when asked about the superintendent's actions afterwards, Ellis couldn't pinpoint any misconduct either. I can't answer that because I don't know. After the decision was made, Seabolt was instructed at the meeting to turn in all access cards, keys, and the board told him not to log into the school's network, come onto school property, or attend any school activities. But the question still weighing on the school district, will the TEA give them another chance? So the TEA hasn't made anything clear to you? No, I haven't. Um, that decision, that conversation haven't come up yet. Assistant Principal Remy Godfrey was named temporary superintendent by another for one vote, but it's still not clear how long. When Channel 6 spoke to the TEA yesterday, they told us the school district was under an informal review after the TEA had made an initial decision to close the district. So the board can only hope their actions will make a difference. That it shows them that we're, that we're trying to do our best. And I spoke with the now suspended superintendent, Seabolt. He didn't really show any strong signs of reaction after today's decision. He did tell me he did not think that the district will be shut down. Of course, the board is still awaiting the TEA's final decision on that. Guys? Yeah, big thing hanging with school just out in the new school year looming. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Andrew.